class 6 the initial 5 classes will be of basics now this is class 6 Kirchhoff's laws there are two Kirchhoff's laws current law and voltage law KCL and KVL Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law see Kirchhoff's current law states that algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction is zero you take here in this uh, junction you have I1, I2 entering into the junction, I3, I4, I5 leaving the junction. So, I1 plus I2 should be equal to I3, I4, I5 sum. Means, currents entering into the junction should be equal to total current outgoing the junction means I1 plus I2 plus equal to I3 plus I4 plus I5 ok so you can uh, state the law in two ways sum of all currents entering into a node or junction will be equal to sum of all currents leaving the node. Another uh, way is algebraic sum of all currents meeting at a node is 0. At any node. Algebraic sum means you have to consider the direction. If you consider uh, the current entering into the junction as positive I1 and I2 here, then currents leaving the junction should be considered as negative. So you can write it in two ways. First case is I1 plus I2 plus I, I1 plus I2 currents entering into the junction is equal to currents leaving the junction I3 plus I4 plus I5 or we can write like this. I1 plus I2 because currents entering into the junction are positive then I3, I4, I5 negative should be equal to 0 because they are leaving the junction so negative. Right. Next, second figure. There is a problem, simple problem, uh, it is solved here. It is very simple. If you see there, you will understand. See, I1 is given as 10, I2 is given as 6. Find other currents. Now, when I1 is 6, uh, sorry, 10, this is 6. So, 10 is equal to 6 plus 4. So, I4 should be equal to 4. I4 will be 4 ampere. I2 and uh, okay, this I7 and I1 will be same because there is only one path. If you take any junction here, current coming in this path should be going. So, this will be 10. I7 will be 10. Same. Now, this is 10. This is 6. So, this should be 4. Okay, if this is 4, this is 6, then applying KCL at uh, node A, at node A, Uh, 
i4 is equal to 4 already set now at node b you have i2 is equal to i3 plus i5 i2 means current entering into the junction is equal to i3 plus i5 i3 and i5 are leaving at junction b then again you have here at d i4 plus i3 i4 plus i3 will be equal to i6 again at junction c you have i5 plus i6 will be equal to i7 you write these junctions uh, values there then by solving those equations you will get uh, the values i3 plus i5 i5 is 4 let us see that now what is i3 i3 is equal to 2 see here this is one equation what we get i2 is equal to i3 plus i5 i2 and i3 we know i2 and sorry i2 we know i5 i5 is 4 uh, how i5 is 4 i5 is 4 given in the question itself it is given i5 is equal to 4 ok hence we can find so 3 currents are given now next Kirchhoff's voltage law it states that see Kirchhoff's current law is for current Kirchhoff's voltage law is for voltage and IR drops voltage means V and IR so it states that algebraic sum <coughs> algebraic sum of all the EMFs and IR drops taken in proper sign in any closed path when you say current Kirchhoff's current law you say junction when you say voltage law you say loop in a closed path is zero you can also say in another way algebraic sum of all EMFs is equal to algebraic sum of all IR drops sigma E is equal to sigma ir now how should you take the sign when you move from positive to negative terminals of an emf take the value as positive else negative sign for ir drops when you move in the direction of current, you take the value as positive. When you move against the uh, IR direction of current, you take the value as positive. Because if you go in the direction of current, you are actually decreasing the voltage. As already explained in the class. So if you see here, if you go from here to here, Okay, V1 is positive. Means if you go clockwise, then V1 and V2 are positive. If you go anti-clockwise, you are coming from positive to negative of terminal. So it is negative. Similarly, when you go clockwise, I R1 drop is negative because you are following the direction of current. So potential is decreasing. This is positive, this is negative here higher potential here lower potential so here you are 
decreasing the voltage hence negative so when you go clockwise v1 and v2 will be positive ir drops will be negative when you go anti clockwise uh ir drops will be positive here and v1 v2 will be negative so when you do problems you will understand that so sample problems are given here so kirchhoff's voltage law is also called as kirchhoff's mesh law see two loops are given here this loop and another loops you can have third loop outer loop v1 r1 r2 v2 like this so examples are given here so already problems are done in the class if you want we can do more problems in the class or in the next class i will explain step by step each each step of the problem